All right, it's 9 a.m. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I mentioned it earlier. Usually we start with an event review, but the one event that I got to do this week, which was my pretzel and beer cheese cooking demo, I was too busy to take any pictures. So I don't have any to share with you, but uh, it was a really fun experience making pretzels and I had a really good group. So it was that was a really good time. Um, I'll definitely try and be better about taking pictures. It's always so much fun for me to show them to the group, but it just didn't work out. Um, we were supposed to have Craft Beer University this week, but unfortunately we had to um, cancel that for some unexpected reasons with the business. So our other craft beer um, experience is going to be on Sunday, I'm doing a paint your pint glass. Um, we're gonna be painting pint-sized beer steins with a special um, glass paint that should uh, be easy to use and not wash off in the um, dishwasher or anything. So that should be really fun. Registration is technically closed for that, but I do have a few open spots. So if anybody wants to come for the paint your pint for the Craft Beer University event, let me know and I can add you manually to the list. That's going to be tomorrow at 2. All right, Paula's last um, fall walk with the GM is going to be Monday, October 23rd at 10 a.m. Check MTL for details on where in the, the neighborhoods we're going to be meeting her for that particular one. And for those of you that have been following along, the fall walks have a little um, sort of like a punch card that you get some marked off or stamp when you go. And if you fill them all up, then you get a you get entered into a drawing for a prize. So yeah, Paul is making it fun and she's making herself available for people to come and spend some time with her and talk to her about any questions or concerns they might have. Plus, she's just a lot of fun to hang out with. So <laughs> that's always nice as well. Okay, Monster Mash is on Saturday, October 28th. And I wanted to remind you all because today is the last day to register. We will be doing a costume contest for both couples and singles. And we're also doing a carved pumpkin contest. So bring in a pre-carved or decorated pumpkin as you wish. And uh, we'll be giving away prizes for the winners of all three of those categories. We're bringing in a great DJ. She's been here before uh, doing our karaoke nights. She's really talented, really great to work with. And she's going to bring some lights and a fog machine. So it's going to be fun and spooky. I'm excited. I love Halloween and I think it'll be a really great time. So make sure there's only um, a handful of tickets left if you want to sign up. Today is the last day uh, by noon. We're having breakfast at the Mantle, Sunday the 29th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. There are still some reservations available on MTL if you would like to uh, come down to our once monthly breakfast experience at the Mantle. It's always a lot of fun, always a nice busy Sunday morning. Plus we serve delicious fresh made breakfast. So. I definitely recommend um, getting a reservation for that if you'd like to come. We are doing trick-or-treating at the Lodge on Halloween, and I would love if all of you could spread the word. Um, tell your grandkids, tell your grandkids' friends, any kids that you can get to come down to the Lodge. We're opening our doors to everyone that day. So um, we would love to see some little trick-or-treaters come down and um, hit the few stations that we have we're going to be doing it from 4.30 to 6.30 in the grand living room, and it should be a lot of fun. I have flyers printed out if you want to grab one and maybe give them to anyone that you know. Um, they are sitting on the table right next to the concierge desk as you walk out of the building. So if you want to grab any of those, spread the word, go ahead. All right, we are having a wine tasting November 1st at 6 p.m. featuring Weather Station Wines. I know, and I actually wanted to share with you why it's called Weather Station Wines. Um, it's because it is a um, boutique winemaker, and she spent years visiting different weather stations all over the state to try and find the exact perfect climate to grow her grapes. 
So she put a lot of work into this and um, now she has her own little winery making really delicious boutique wines. Uh, you'll get to taste her Merlot red blend, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, and the Fume Blanc. So that should be a fun night um, on November 1st at 6 p.m. Registration right now is open to both Barrel Masters and uh, regular Trilogy residents. So if you want to get your tickets, you can go ahead and do that now. I have an estate planning workshop uh, set up for November 3rd. So um, although it might not be the most fun topic, it will definitely be very educational. We have Scott Terry coming down from Terry Law Firm. He has been here before and um, him and his team are extremely knowledgeable. So it's definitely worth coming even if you've been before, it's always good to get a refresher. Um, this is a complimentary workshop so you can, uh, come down for free and get that information, but we do ask that you register just so we can have enough chairs set up. Yes, 11 a.m. and this will be in Hawk's Nest. All right, and we are doing uh, a Thunderbirds game. It is the early season of the Thunderbirds. So uh, this will be a really fun night. There's only a few more tickets left. So if you'd like to get some more tickets uh, or get the last few tickets, make sure you do while they're still there. Um, I have only ever been to two hockey games and they've both been Thunderbirds games and it is so much fun every time. It's loud and there's a lot of energy in the room and um, it's also not as cold as I expected it to be, despite the fact that you're sitting in an ice rink, but um, it's only a little bit nippy. So this should be a lot of fun and they're doing a special ceremony uh, on this particular night to celebrate a very famous hockey player. I don't know anything about hockey, but they're retiring his jersey number. Um, so they're going to do a fun ceremony for that. And they always have fun games during the intermissions. Clearly, I'm a drama kid. They're all intermissions to me. <laughs> so, yeah, come down and enjoy a fun night of sports uh, if you're interested in that. Movie night. Uh, this uh, November, we are doing planes, trains, and automobiles in honor of the Thanksgiving holiday. This is a really fun comedy movie. Uh, Steve Martin, one of my favorite comedians of all time, is in it. And it is uh, it is rated R, just so you know, but um, it's really not that dirty. <laughs> Did you? Was it fun? Oh, good. I haven't seen it in so many years, so. Yep, yep, John Candy is in it, too. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, it is about the uh, trials and tribulations of trying to get to see your family on Thanksgiving, so I think it was an appropriate choice, and it should be a lot of fun. Um, it's only $5. You can come down and enjoy as much popcorn candy and soda as you'd like and uh, watch a movie with your friends. So I definitely recommend it. These movie nights have been something that I've added to the docket since I started as a lifestyle coordinator and it's a lot of fun for me. I really love movies. So I think it's nice to just sort of bring people together for a nice inexpensive evening of fun. To watch some of the newer ones. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I will give you folks a preview our theme this year for, uh, <laughs> I know, <laughs> our theme this year for uh, New Year's is going to be a night on the red carpet. So it's going to be fancy and classy and we will have a red carpet. So I'm really excited for that. All right, we are bringing back Elise and continuing our wonderful partnership with her. I was actually in for my cooking demo this um, 
this week and it was the first time I'd ever been in the building at the same time as Elise because I don't usually work on Mondays but the entire building smelled so amazing <laughs> she just brings in just the most delicious smelling products and um she treats her clients really well she is just the kindest human being you can imagine so if you feel like being pampered we are doing a harvest glow facial in November and she is doing a um a sound healing facial event in december which is going to be featuring these tuning forks that she showed me which are really very interesting i'd never seen anything like that before but uh she has a big belief in their healing properties so uh she'll definitely explain more about that to you so if you want to get your tickets there's only two left for the harvest glow and it is pumpkin so it'll be a lot of fun <laughs> <laughs> Everybody needs a facial. <laughs> All right, we have a culinary demo. This one is hosted by the food and beverage team, and they are doing seafood bouillabaisse. It is Tuesday, November 7th at noon. There are only four tickets left for this. These usually sell out very quickly. So I just thought I'd bring it up in case anybody wants to get in while they can. We have a Veterans Day dinner, and this is um, on actual Veterans Day on Saturday, November 11th. And of course, I didn't put the time there. Um, it is going to be at six o'clock. Yes. And we are serving fresh baked dinner rolls, a fall garden salad, whipped potatoes, fire grilled broccolini, chicken and sherry, wild mushroom cream sauce, local apple cobbler, and drinks will be available for purchase. There are also, the Veterans Club is bringing in retired, retired Colonel Richard Bob Riddick, who was a former F-4 Phantom pilot, a flight instructor, and an air wing commander. And he'll be giving a little bit of a veterans presentation. This is open to everyone. The Veterans Club would like anyone um, to come if they can. So make sure that you get your tickets on MTL. It's going to be a really nice night honoring our veterans. All right, we have a cooking university, and we're actually going back to our old structure of doing one cooking university a month instead of two on the Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So we ordered more burners, and we're going to be able to have 24 attendees all at once for a cooking university. Uh, the theme this time is apples, 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 and we've got some fun things on the menu for that. We'll be doing apple cinnamon bacon bites, uh, seared pork chop and apple leek butter and baked apples with oatmeal cookie topping. So I know I'm hungry already. <laughs> so there's two stations, four tickets left right at this moment. So if you want to come down and enjoy some delicious seasonal apple dishes, definitely sign up for that. Yeah. Possibly, you never know. <laughs> yeah, we do try and carry over some of, some of our things uh, from cooking classes into specials sometimes. I know, right? Those baked apples with oatmeal cookie topping, those need to be on the menu for sure. <laughs> Okay, I am doing or I'm bringing in um, an AARP representative to do the six pillars of brain health. Say that again. No, it's in person. I'm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, we're bringing in an actual live human being so you don't have to sit on your um, computer and watch. Um, in this interactive session, you'll learn about the six pillars of a brain healthy lifestyle. Share your own brain boosting activities and be inspired by others. It is a good overview for anyone interested in improving their brain health and will help provide you with um, actionable steps that you can take. So um, this is gonna be really helpful. I've, uh, I haven't met the speaker in person, but we've been communicating by email. She seems like a very, very nice person. So I think this will be a, a fun thing. This is complimentary as well. So um, just sign up so we know how many chairs to set up and come down and possibly learn something that can help you improve your brain health, which is always very important. Okay. 
All right, karaoke night, and this time we are doing a theme. Um, we have we didn't do a theme at the last few, and I think I learned my lesson. I think this will help sort of keep the night upbeat. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm still working on the, my list of 50 80 songs, which is proving to be a little bit more difficult than I expected. It's just, I don't know, I wanna pick songs that everybody's gonna love and that everybody knows. And what I've been discovering as I'm going through the 80s, like I knew it, but I didn't think about it when I picked the theme. People in the 80s had really big voices, like very big voices, kind of difficult to sing, I would say. So I don't know, hopefully we'll be able, hi Carl. Hopefully we will um, be able to all enjoy ourselves on this night. I would certainly be intimidated by some of the songs that I already have on the list, but I think it should be a lot of fun anyway. 80s music is super upbeat and a good time, so. I know, right? <laughs> That's sort of what karaoke is about. It's for the non-singers to come and have a good time up there. <laughs> I don't know, though. The last few karaoke nights we've had, we've had some pretty talented singers come out of the woodwork. So um, I was impressed. So what does the $50 include? Um, it includes entry to the event. I'm also serving dessert. And uh, there will be a mocktail as well. Mm -hmm. Gotta have your dessert. <laughs> no tips for Daisy. <laughs> All right, we have a couple of uh, coffees with the GM coming up. So if you have uh, more intricate questions that I'm unable to answer, Paula will be available for you. We just added one on Friday, October 27th, and there may be a special guest from Blue Star there. So I recommend signing up for that. And then we have another one on Friday, November 17th. Um, the reason we're doing one on the 17th, and I did want to announce this, I'm not going to be doing a coffee talk on Saturday, November 18th. This is because we have our holiday marketplace that day, and it starts at 10 a.m. So I'm going to be very busy getting set up, and the whole lodge is going to be set up for the holiday marketplace. So we're not going to be able to have a coffee talk that morning, but definitely come down to the coffee with the GM on Friday the 17th at 11 a.m. All right, we're doing another keynote speaker series session with Dr. Landry. This one is online uh, via Microsoft Teams as we are right now. And it's going to be Saturday, November 18th from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. These are very interactive live streams. He gives a presentation and then you're also able to submit your questions and have a sort of Q&A session at the end. He talks about um, wellness and brain health um, as well. So I've heard that his presentations are really helpful. If you'd like to give it a try, I do recommend it. There is a special sign up link for this um, on MTL. So make sure that you sign up just so that um, they know how many people are coming. And this is run by our central services department in Arizona, which is why it is virtual. So, all right, this is the holiday marketplace. Um, Saturday, November 18th, also open to the public, similar to the trick-or-treating night. So spread the word. Uh, we have a lot of really great vendors. We have 21 different member vendors coming, and they're going to be selling all sorts of holiday gifts, handmade items. We've got quilters and sewers and card makers and woodworkers and pottery experts and stained glass windows and just everything you can possibly imagine. If you want to get a fun um, handmade gift for someone or just come down and support, you definitely should. We are doing a VIP only uh, trilogy shopping hour from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. for $5. And that gives you special access to the uh, VIP session and also I'll be serving a holiday mocktail at the door so you'll have a nice drink to enjoy while you shop and then from 11 a.m to 2 p.m it is open to all and this um, is trilogy and non-trilogy I also have flyers for this that are printed out and they are available at the concierge desk if you feel like handing any out to friends or bringing in someone that may never have um, been to the lodge before this is a really great chance to do it Okay. All right. And that's all that I have for this week. 
Does anyone have any questions? I know it was a lot. I have a lot planned for November and that's only half of November. So yeah. Um, I am a little bit behind, so I wish that I had more uh, to tell you for 2024. Um, we are going to continue with all of our uh, annual traditions. I am working with the uh, murder mystery people again, and we are going to be doing a Wild West murder mystery this year. I know. I thought that that sounded like a ton of fun. So we're definitely going to be moving forward with that, which I can't wait for. We already have the Happy Hanses from Oktoberfest booked for next year. So they're, they're part of our annual tradition as well. And like I said, New Year's is going to be the usual blow out and we are doing um, a night on the red carpet as the theme for that. We are working um, in back in the office behind the scenes to put together an annual traditions calendar, which is going to be sort of an overview of some of the big hitter events that we have throughout the year. You know, it's going to in include things like the murder mystery, like Lodge Fest, like Oktoberfest, like Thanksgiving and Santa brunch and all of the sort of things that we do every year, just so that you can mark your calendars in case there's anything on there that you specifically don't want to miss. So that is a goal of ours before the end of 2023 to get out to everyone. And that'll be posted on a news post once we get it all, all put together. So. Um, I haven't thought about that. I I'll have to ask Paula some of the history on the St. Patrick's Day dinner. St. Patrick's Day was, um, gosh, like a week after I got hired last year. And I wasn't actually there for the event. And it was just a member mixer. So you used to have a, a food dinner. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember Todd did go to Ireland kind of recently, so he must have some contacts there. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll definitely look into that. Um, I, like I said, I'll have to sort of look into the history of maybe why we moved away from that in the first place. But that sounds like a great time to me. I mean, St. Patrick's Day is a great excuse to party, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah, right when everything started in 2020. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're only allowed to pinch people that aren't wearing green. <laughs> well, it would be a requirement that you don't wear green. Oh, man, that just sounds like a way to get your neighbors mad at you, Carl. <laughs> well, all right, everyone. Thank you so much for coming this morning. Sorry for the change of venue, but I appreciate you showing up. Good. Yeah, it works, right? It's nice and quiet in here. Comfy chairs, too. So. Works for me. <laughs> it sounds like one of those aerobics videos. Hmm. Our new pinnacle.